Hi, who said that men do not need hope? Well, this is Street Hope, your journey of hope, and here with us today is Reverend Mugambi, who will get to tackle the issue of bringing order in the society where men are concerned. So let's just get to hear more. I am Jerry Githai and Karibuni. Uh, to you, Reverend Mugambi, yeah. uh, you're from the Mira of the uh, Adams Mira International. Yeah. Could you kindly uh, tell us more about the Adams Mira International? Thank you, Jerry. Actually, my name is Ifanwell. Ifanwell Mugambi Mushiri. Okay. Yeah, I'm a pastor or a referent um, ordained by the Presbyterian Church of East Africa, but uh, currently working for Adams Mira International. Adams Mira has been um, actually has originated from men themselves. Uh, when we looked at the issues of men personally as a clergy with the Presbyterian Church, after burying so many men at Langata and in the other places, even in the countryside, and after watching the, like, the direction men are taking, it's like they are going, they are taking the retrogression direction. Other than progression, progression. they are just going, going backwards. backward in terms of their performance. So after having looked at what is happening in churches and in the, in the society, then Adam decided that uh, we need to look at something that can pull us together as men so that we can realize of who we are. So this is a man on a mirror, looking at himself on a mirror, to see whether he is the real man that God created him. Okay. And what are these things that he has been created for? So it's a registered international organization which is uh, working very closely with the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Development, like Mindreo, Wanawake and other organizations. So we are there and we stand there for man, the male, it's a gender-based male, trying to take his right, rightful position. Position and giving them hope. Hope, yeah. Okay, so I'd like us to talk about um, why men? What made you decide man and not woman or not children? Yeah, Wh why man? Why Adam? Man was created first, in the first place. That's what we, we feel and that's what we say. That uh, in the order of God, he realized that man should have been created first in order for him to oversee the role, or rather to take up the role of that creation of God. That he said, it's good. Everything is good. So man was given something good. Even when the woman was created, you remember man screamed, oh, bone of my own bone, fresh, fresh of mine, fresh. fresh, you know. So, because he has been given everything good, but within uh, maybe all along the way, after a number of ma many, many years, man sort of forgot his role, that he is the person to bring order into the society where he has been placed in a world of order, so we find him dishonored. So the reason as to why we are saying man, why Adam, Adam's mirror, it's because we would want to see a man who has been so hopeless coming back to his position, position yes. so that at least there can be hope. Because, Jerry, I, I believe women have... Uh, have um, I mean, they, they, are, they are so hopeless, some of them today, when they see a man who cannot take him far, who cannot lead. They are expecting a man to lead, but he's not leading. He's actually behind. It's like he's walking behind the curtains, like the guys who are walking behind the curtains, you know? So the man is walking behind the curtain. It's like he's telling them, go, you and the children. Yes. So Adam's mirror is about Telling man, no, that's not the order. Yes. The order is come, lead from... And the rest follow. Yes. yes. Let the others follow you. Yes. So that, that's how Adam's mirror was created. Okay. So the children and the wives, the mothers and 
girls, sisters, aunties can say, wow, the very urudations, eh? They gave me, they gave me away, the yeah. urudations, the five for the, for the boy child. Yes. That they can say, after all, we had this, this boy who received the five to say that he is, we have brought forth a king, a leader in our society. So that's what we want to hear as Adam's mirror. That's what we want to see as Adam's mirror. Where the society is confident that there is a man around, that you cannot mess around when the man is here. Yes. We cannot have these enemies coming to invade us because man is here. Yes. And he's confident of what he's doing. Yes. He is taking his rightful position, the raw, properly, man. Okay. All right. Thank you, Reverend Mugambi. But I would like to know, and it's not only happening in Kenya, it's yeah. happening all over the world. Mm -hmm. What has happened to man to a point where men have forgotten the responsibility? It's all given back to the woman. Yeah. Men have forgotten about what they were created to do. Yeah. What really has caused that? What has brought this change? Yeah. That men don't care anymore. Mm -hmm. It's the mm -hmm. responsibility of a woman to take over and take charge. And when you talk to a man, they don't want to be told. Mm -hmm. So what has brought that? Hey. Actually, it, Jerry, so it's all about the upbringing of man. Because when this boy has received the five relations, the gemis, what follows that boy? Do we have somebody who is out to mentor this boy? Do you have somebody who tells this boy, these are the roles of men? But we see men abandoning other men because he, he views that small boy of two years, one year, six months, like not a man at all. He's like, you know, he's not existing. As opposed to women, where we find them, you know, trying to show their girls that they are women. Even buy them dolls, do dollies, eh? Yes. They buy them like that of our woman and, you know, this is how you need to carry your child, your child. and you see that small girl carrying the child. Yes. What do boys do? What do we do as men to show that uh, my son should take this role? Do we buy them a spear or a club, that rungu or a sword? Or do we take them out there to show them, you know, this the grazing area and this your work? Do we talk to them like women would talk to their children, to their girls especially? So for la where we are, it is us who have put themselves into that position. Because we find the absentee fathers. Yes. A father who, who leaves the children, he has not been with this kid when the kid was in the womb. The mother has nursed that for it has. And all through for nine months, this man is absent. He comes home maybe at night, comes home drunk, comes home with the fights, you know, shouting. This kid is still hearing what the father is doing. And by luck, it can be a boy. Yes. So what this boy may think is, Jerry, that a father shouldn't be, you know, should come home drunk. A father should come home and shout at the wife. You know, a father should, a father should. You know, this should is not the positive way of nurturing this child. Yes. So the way of nurturing the, this boy child differs from family to family because yeah. we find some others doing it. We find some others very courageous. That's why you find some others are very shy. Yes. Because the father is not there to show, to tell him, ah, boy, no, 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 yes. don't do it. Yes. Do, boys do not put their hands or rather their fingers. They don't bite their, their nails. You know, you are confident because by the time you do that, something has already invaded the family. You need to be watchful. You need to check on the door. Who tells them that? But you see sometimes, Jerry, we find these men, the old men like ourselves, who are not even mindful about closing the doors. Yes. They are waiting for the wife. I'm waiting for you to go and close the door. I am not checking on the windows. So when the enemy comes, what do we find? They just come in yes. because nobody was responsible. So we, the parents, 
have been fearing in terms of the roles. Do you give this boy the role? Yes. The role of, you know, like, take care of your girls or your, 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 your sisters. Take care of your mom. It's all about taking care. So it's all about mentorship and Good. not instilling fear. Because some of the fathers will say, you know, you're a man. Mm -hmm. You know, when you fall down, you don't need to cry. You sure. If you cry, I will beat the hell out of you. Mm -hmm. So mentorship does not mean instilling fear necessarily. No. So we need to mentor our children. Yes. Men need to mentor their boys yes. to grow as responsible men in mm -hmm. the society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I would also like to know, what what has taken you know like taken men back into alcoholism mm -hmm. you know is it the lack of jobs is it losing jobs is it that women are really downsizing the men what exactly because i'd like to know because people say that men have no issues because yeah. as far as i'm concerned a man says they are good to go so what really brings up all this jerry there has been a mentality that uh, men are supposed to be so brave even where they are hurt. When you feel you are so hurt by maybe the members of the society, maybe by your boss, you've been sacked off for no reason, or somebody has reason, written you a letter of uh, maybe a warning that um, maybe if you don't observe one, two, three, you are, you, you be gotten laid off from this company, from this office, from this institution. and because of that mentorship again and the upbringing of this child, they don't know that there is an aspect of pouring out, you know, like coming to you and pouring out my heart when I'm so disappointed that I have somebody that I can tell. You know, today I received this warning yes. letter. Yes. So it's like men have been subjected into that state of, they are um, so they yeah. are not supposed they to remain in their own cocoons. Yes. Yeah, I am just there. Uh, I I I don't have to tell another man. And you know, there, there is that uh, that also. It's it's a long mentality. It's a long notion where they say, like men say, there, there are men who say that that uh, there is no man who is a mother to the other. Yes, it's a it's a very very bad way of dealing with ourselves because. That way, then, I will not be able to pour my heart to another man, like women will do. You, f you meet them in groups, like these groups of women. You know, they, they have a group where they give the, the, the men go out. You, you meet, if, if you are beaten up by your husband, you go crying and they look at you and then they see some marks or or a scar yes. and then they start asking oh, what happened yes, mommy what happened, what happened yes. uh, lucy or yes. jerry what happened to you yes. and then you start sobbing yes. you know and they start you know coming to you and yeah. holding and you that helps yes it does but with men it's different yeah. men don't want to show people that they have issues yet in real sense they have issues we, we are have all more human issues. beings, yes, because yeah. we're all created with emotions yes. and we need affection. Yes. So that's where maybe men go wrong. Yes. yes. That's where we go wrong because we, we don't want to, to pour ourselves out. We don't want to say it. We don't want to tell anybody, not even our wives, not our brothers and sisters, not even our pastors. We don't want, we don't want even to go to counselors. Yes. Even a trained counselor, we don't want to go. So you find them with a drone and then they go into drinking they can go into maybe um drug yes. yeah they can even uh, run mad they can just with the draw. okay reverend mogambi just hold on to that thought we'll mm -hmm. be right back thank you okay well you've all had for yourselves that men we need to wake up we need to start pouring out our issues to get help we will be right back with street hope your journey of hope and just keep watching three stones tv